Okay, so let's go back to Manuel. Um, now he is out there. Oh, there he is. A lot of things in a country are, are not, not okay. 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 That's the reason, of course, that they have been uh, on 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 the road this morning. So currently standing in the middle of the um, Kwame Nkrumah Avenue, this three-lane stretch which leads into the Accra Central area has been totally blocked by um, demonstrators from the Fix the Country movement. And so you can see behind me all the way from here up until the, um, you know, the GCB, the former GCB bank, and then of course the overhead area. All the place is blocked and choked um, with, with, with human beings indeed who are part of the Fix the Country movement or at least sympathize um, with them. If I turn the camera around for you, over there you see also the stretch that leads to um, Accra, another set of contingents who have also blocked um, the road. Well, this demonstration is going to continue um, up until they get to the Black Star Square. For now though, it's begun moving again. And well, we all understand what is, uh, the country is going through now. We all understand that there's uh, corruption that has engulfed this country and that uh, the youth cannot get jobs to do. There's, there's so much stealing going on and nobody can talk about it. We all understand how people are being suppressed when they uh, try to talk about what is going on. We know what happened in Nigeria. The Nigeria report is still uh, a, suspe a, sus a suspicion now. Uh, we don't know uh, what is going on there. There's so much happening, so much uh, 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 things happening in this country that are not going on. That's why you can see the youth are put on here to voice out and tell the people they have elected to govern them that nothing is going on. All my time, time, all my early future, all my time. Rulers, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a stealer. Yeah, he's a stealer. I don't know if you have any evidence to say that um, he is a stealer, but your, your concerns are, 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 are that the country should be fixed. It should fix our concerns. It should be education. It's poor. Our university. Now, his, his thoughts. We are begging him to leave. To leave. To leave and go. We are tired. He must be impeached. The agriculture minister must rise. The agriculture minister must. Rip them all the agriculture no. sector and the technical yes. sector must rip them. And so I'll describe to you indeed as um, the movement is um, in session now. Um, the people really agitated about various things and there's no um, one particular thing that they make reference to um, uh, in, in this particular regard. Uh, they, they, they make reference to um, varied stuff. Um, uh, grateful that you could speak to us uh, here on Join News. Um, tell us why you are joining this demonstration. It must be very important to you, even in a third wave of COVID-19 in Ghana. Well, there's the rising cost of living to think about. There's the corruption. There are all those scandals that the government has not addressed. So that's that for me. And, and, and you think that this demonstration indeed is going to yield any results? No? I think that's very important that we show that. Many more. At the point being made that, well, of course, even beyond uh, the results that this particular demonstration may get, it's important to get it registered that the people who are being governed are not indeed satisfied by what the government uh, is doing. To my right, I see you since hashtag since 1957. Since 1957. Are you, are you saying that really nothing good has happened in the country since, since 1957? Since then, the country is just moving roundabout. And the reason is because of corrupt leadership. And the people of Ghana are saying that we are tired of this, especially the youth, because any decision that these people make, we are the ones who suffer the consequences. Exactly. This is not about NDC, this is not about MPP, this is about the people. The people are tired. And we are saying that we need a national agenda for the country so that if NDC come, they don't just do whatever they want. If MPP of human resources, it is the lack of leadership. You see, no matter how rich you are, if you have this kind of mindset, there's no way you're moving forward. And this is the problem of Africa. See, we, are, we have, the, the continent is blessed with a lot of natural resources. But look at what we are going through. Ghana deserves better than this. So this is what, 
You see, this is not about any political party. We are saying that there should be a national agenda. There must be change. Since 1957, what major improvement have you seen? Ghana, where was, where was Singapore? When Ghana gained independence? Where was Dubai? Where was Malaysia? But look at where they are now, and where are we? Is this what we deserve? Boss. And, and that's a question that he's asking, that is this indeed um, what we deserve as a country? And these are, of course, the, the opinions um, of the democracy. Not a particular issue that you're pointing to as the main reason for this demonstration. Sure? Varied, sure? varied, varied reasons sure? from yes, education yes, yes. Um, to roads um, to health and so on. Round of thoughts. Tell me one thing, one thing that um, for you is important for government to fix. Just one thing, one thing. Please, the prices of food is very high now. Uh, uh, tomato costs two cities. But the Greek minister says he's planting for food and jobs. But there are no state farms. There are no state farms. So one thing that, that, that one thing that must be fixed is what? Food system. Food system. Alright, what about you? What what must be fixed? Our work. Your work? Yeah. Uh, what, what work do you do? I, I'm a driver. Okay. The fuel is very higher. Okay. We can we can't buy fuel. So what about you? Minimum wage. Minimum wage. We are done with school, we are done with our tertiary education and we are working. And people can, cannot even earn up to 1,000 Ghana cities. People who are graduates are earning 300 Ghana cities, are earning 500 Ghana cities. We are paying rent of 200 Ghana cities and we are paying rent of 150 Ghana cities. If I pay my rent, which is 150 Ghana cities, and I'm, I take transport, what do you expect me to eat and give to my family? What about you? My concern is... People, three years I finished, paid school fees. Five years I haven't gotten a job, look at my muzzle. I'm oh. not a, I'm not an old man. Oh. Give me a job to do. It's my country. You told me get it so say then I come here. Yeah. Give me a job to do. Give me, give me a job to do. That's his chance. What about you finally? What, what do you want to be fixed? That, my final word that I can say today that Nanado should fix the country now. Should fix the education. Now education system is poor. Nanado should fix the education. Nanado should fix the education. So round of thoughts of and the demonstrators of course give you an indication of how diverse their concerns are. For now, though, it's a march on uh, to indeed make their concerns known to government. Um, Any more, if you can hear me, a lot of chants, a lot of tooting of horns, and so on. But this is a picture on the Kwame Kuma Avenue. If you can hear me, over to you in the studio. Thank you very much um, for that, Manuel. Manuel is out there on the streets. Um, the Fix the Country demonstration that's been happening since about 7 a.m. this morning. Um, you can still join if you'd like to um, and make your voice heard as well also on social media. Continue to stay safe um, out there. Manuel.